Hi everyone, Tim the Plane Man here and welcome to Plane Time Ewing T2 Cruiser VTOL edition. I've got the VTOL version of the Ewing T2 Cruiser and it's a perfect match for my Ewing T1 Ranger which you might have seen and if you haven't check out the video here but this is the T2 Cruiser and it's a very nice plane and look at the box that it comes in. This is quite amazing. You will be amazed at how quickly I can pop this open and plug everything together and have it ready to fly. All assembled in this box here. As you can see, all the pieces safely strapped in and it's just a question of piece by piece taking them out and clipping them together, literally clipping them together. No screws, nothing uh, tricky. It's really unbelievably straightforward. The first thing to do is to take the spars and pop them in because the wings will need to slide onto those. And as you can see here, the, the, the hatch is basically exactly the same as the T2 Ranger. The clip is just a little bit more solid, which I'm very pleased to see. What you have next is the tail boom, like this, which clips together in two pieces. The tail just slides on. If you get it the right way around, it goes in really simply. And if you don't get it right, it takes a bit fiddly. But you just basically slide the boom into the tail, like that, click, and then slide the other end of the boom into the plane, clip, and there's the click right there, and then the rudder goes on like this, and it's a satisfying click, and there you have that. And now all we need is some wings, and look at the wings, look at how easily the wings come out of the, out of the box here. One strap holds it securely, there's your complete wing. slide it onto the spars, make sure they're pushed on tightly, and there's a couple of little clips on the inside, two clips for each wing, and I um, managed to make my second clip a little bit too close to where I've got my USB adapter, but never fear, it clips in, there it is, click, and then the second wing comes out here like this. Slides onto the spars again. And then clip. And clip. And there you have it. That's that's the plane put together. In here I have, of course, installed a RD Pilot Zealot H743 flight controller. I have a telemetry radio, you'll see what that's for later. And I'm running a, an 8,000 milliamp hour uh, lithium ion pack. It's quite big and quite heavy. You notice there's a lot of space at the front because it actually has to go quite far back. That's partly because I put the, the Hawkeye thumb camera on the front and that just adds a little bit of weight up the nose. But it's balanced perfectly on the center of gravity. That's a 6S2P, so it'll 8,000 milliamp hours. It should go for it awfully long time. And if I just put my fingers on the little nubs in here, make sure I've got my center of gravity pretty perfect. I guess I should show you how it looks all together. Oh, and on the back right here, I've got an express LRS receiver that just mounts nicely on the underside of the plane right there. So there it is, Hewing. T2 Cruiser VTOL. It's a tilt just like the T1 Ranger and we're going to fly it right now.